hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today what am i talking to you guys about work from home tips how to stay in work mode during this whole quarantine period ways to stay on track and maintain productivity throughout the day number one thing that you need to ensure that you're doing to maintain productivity throughout your day throughout your remote working day is to make sure you have a routine set up in place have a schedule of when you're going to do certain things when are you going to wake up or when are you going to pray or meditate when are you going to work out when are you finally going to jump in the shower and get dressed for the day you need to establish these things and create this structure in the same way you would do if you're physically getting ready in the morning to go out to work having this sort of routine in place will make sure that from the time that you get up in the morning you know that you've got a purpose set out for the day your mind is in alignment with you and you are ready to go ahead and do all that you're supposed to do when you wake up without a goal or without a structure and plan you sort of just like while away throughout the day doing whatever comes your way and more times it ends up being a lazy and non-productive day just because you haven't planned out what you're going to do so that is why i say that your number one thing to do is to ensure that you have a good routine in place for your working from home days the second thing that you want to be doing is to create a to-do list for the day now to-do lists are so so important to helping you establish what exactly it is you have planned for the day what your goals are for the day and what you want to achieve without having these to-do lists in place or writing them down you'll be surprised at how quickly days come and go without you haven't actually achieved anything they're just wasted days essentially and so to avoid this you want to make sure that you are writing down things to ensure that you are held accountable to make sure that you are actually doing them what are you going to do on a day-to-day -day basis now in terms of to-do lists i would definitely say that during this whole quarantine period where we all know that we have a lot of time on our hands the best way to do it is to create a to-do list for each day or create one the night before for the following day don't go ahead and do these days or weeks in advance and the reason i say that is because where we have so much time available to us let us utilize that let's take our time to plan things out properly we're not on the usual way of doing things these aren't times where we're strict for time we've got jobs to wake up in the morning and get to before coming home and working our own personal things we've got the time so we can take our time to actually plan things out and in a way elongate the task itself you don't want to leave yourself in a place where you've got more time to think oh i'm bored i don't have anything to do so therefore on a day-to-day -day basis set aside some time i'd advise at the start of your day or as i said earlier the night before and plan out the things that you want to achieve on each specific day don't overload your list make it realistic make it things that you know that you'll be able to achieve within the day I'm currently using the app to do this to plan out my to do list for the day. Now, I know we all have like to do list um, apps already set up on our phones, but to be honest, I prefer to do it just because I think it's a lot easier to enter my task. It seems a lot more seamless as compared to the um, to do list that I currently have on my iPhone. I don't know why, but I just prefer it. And there's also that satisfaction of when I know I've completed a task, I get a completed sort of, you know, little tick appraisal of myself that congratulates you for sort of completing the task. It may be a small thing, but I'm the kind of person that appreciates things like that. That's why in general, I love writing down little notes and having checklists to guide my working day because when I know I've been able to complete a task and tick it off, I do get this huge feeling of relief and sort of satisfaction. So I love the to-do list app because it basically encompasses that sort of feeling for me. Another app that works in a similar way is called Today. So you can also check that out. The third thing that you want to be doing to set yourself up for effective home working is to actually get dressed. Wake up in the morning, shower and put on some clean clothes, all right? You'd be surprised at how far this will take you. I know personally that on days when I wake up and I drag out getting ready properly for the day, those days tend to be lazy days. Unless I know that I've got crucial things and deadlines that I need to meet, they're going to be lazy days. There'll be days where I literally just lay about and I just sort of let the day unfold itself i may end up watching movies i may just end up just not really doing much you know those days when you go throughout the day and you feel like you've sort of done stuff but at the end of the day you haven't accomplished anything tangible yeah those are the kind of days that you're going to get when you literally just woke up and do not actually get yourself ready in the morning now i'm not saying that you need to sit in your living room or your bedroom wherever your workstation is and be sat there in, in a suit or you know formal wear no i'm not saying that but i'm just saying get up out of your pajamas shower and put on some decent clothes decent lingerie just to know that you are ready to take on the day the fourth thing on my list that you need to be doing to ensure that you're effectively set up for working from home is to have a designated workstation or to create one. So this may be in your living room, this may be in your kitchen, the dining table, this may be in your bedroom, wherever it is that you're able to establish a set place where you can do your work adequately, somewhere where you can have your laptop, your books, whatever it is that you need for your working day, set that up and have that in place. Now you don't necessarily have to stay there throughout the whole day because we all know you do need to get up and get a breather at some points during the day, 
But what I am saying is that having a good established working space, similarly to what you would have when you're in the office, will be good for you maintaining productivity and ensuring that you stick to a good working routine. Number five for good home working, turn off social notifications. Now, for example, I have my Instagram notifications turned off permanently. I just like the fact that my time on Instagram isn't controlled by me seeing pop-up notifications of somebody liking my post, commenting, or anything else like that. I go into the app when I feel like it. So that's why I personally have my Instagram notifications turned off. And all in all, this was done to reduce the amount of interaction I have and also pressure to go on the app when I don't really need to be on it. So now back to the point, turning off your social notifications goes further than turning off Instagram notifications or social media notifications. If go to the point of basically putting your phone on do not disturb mode. Now do not disturb mode is basically a setting on an iPhone, I'm sure Androids have something similar, whereby it mutes your calls and even text messages. Now I find that for times when I really want to be productive and get things done, Going on do not disturb mode is the best thing that could happen because literally there are no distractions. You are only distracted when you choose to be distracted. What does that mean? It's only when I then go to go and pick up my phone or, you know, browse the internet that I'm taken away from the work that I'm currently doing. Of course, when your phone's on do not disturb mode, you do want to ensure that you have times that you will check on your phone to make sure that you're not missing out on any crucial calls or messages and things like that. But basically, if you do want to have those short periods where you are reproductive and get things done, particularly if you have a deadline, you do want to put your phone on do not disturb just for that period of time to make sure that you can get it done to the best of your ability. Number six, schedule lunch and break times just like you would have at work. No one goes throughout the work day. Okay, some people do, but generally you don't really go throughout your work day without having a lunch break or having some form of break where you get up, take a little walk, get some fresh air and things like that. So in the same way, even though we are quarantining and we are stuck at home, there's nothing stopping you from going out and getting your one piece of exercise for the day, as Boris advised us. And just generally getting some time away from the screen. So even if you don't step out of the house, which we are limited in doing at this point in time, just stepping away from your computer screen and going to do something else. Have a little stretch, just anything away from your actual work is so so crucial for you maintaining productivity and that your brain gets to rest throughout the day number seven track how much time you're spending on your tasks so essentially you want to time box your tasks whether you do that in your calendar or whether you do that in your to-do list app you want to make sure that you're allocating time to your tasks and making sure that you're not spending two hours on a task that should take maybe an hour or 30 minutes to complete or spending half an hour on a task that will take you five minutes to complete things like that it helps you to keep yourself on track and to hold you accountable to the things that you're supposed to be doing it's almost like a check-in with yourself throughout the day number eight give up on the idea of perfection oh my gosh how many times have i sat there and reread an email that i've drafted about three four times just to make sure it's perfect it makes sense it reads well it looks good and all that kind of stuff i'm just extra like that but it's not necessary write the thing and get out the door sometimes it's not that deep and a lot of the time this is what leads to us procrastinating we procrastinate in the sense that we think that what we're doing is not good enough or we're not ready to do it and therefore we'll keep putting off and putting it off and putting it off but actually just get it done draft it yeah review it maybe once or twice and just move on to the next thing honestly trying to get things perfect the first time around is one thing that limits us from moving on and progressing in a lot of areas just because we never actually get started because we're scared scared we're not ready and we're scared that what we're producing is not going to be good enough during this quarantine period do not let that be you okay if you've got stuff to do time box them allocate the times that you're going to work on them and then do it and move on no one's saying you can't ever come back to the thing that you created in the first place or you produced to improve on it, but just in the first place, just make sure that you're not letting perfection hold you back from doing what you need to do. And finally, last but not least, do not multitask, okay? We've got more than enough time on our hands. We're not going anywhere. Therefore, take your time to complete one task at a time. There's no need trying to do two or three things at a time. What is the point? You're just giving yourself more time to potentially be bored in the future and sit around. Oh my gosh, there's nothing to do. I'm bored. I can't go out. I can't do this. I can't do that. Okay? Take your time. Work on one thing at a time. Do it to the best of your ability and then move on. I'm sure we've all heard by now that at times multitasking can be our worst enemy just because we think we're trying to be efficient and try and do two or three things at a time. But actually, at the end of the day, you realise that you didn't even complete one of those tasks. So what was the point? You wasted time because you thought you were being efficient, but actually no you weren't you're a lot less productive than you would have been if you would have just stuck to the one task in the first place so guys that brings me to the end of this week's video i do hope you've enjoyed it if you have done please do give it a big thumbs up please do also drop me some comments down in the comment section if you have any other ideas or tips on homework and, and to ensure that you're maintaining productivity 
throughout this quarantine period as usual if you have any other ideas on content that you'd like me to create any other topics that you'd like me to speak on please do also let me know down in the comments and i will go about and doing so thank you for watching and i'll catch you next week bye